Hey, how's it going? I'm Justin Watt. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful and life-giving. It's how to see the true powers of the Holy Spirit's voice and not just hear them. You see, the words of the Bible light our path, but the numbers are how we diligently seek His gorgeous voice. We call them numbers, but God calls them parables. He calls them names. And this is how the worlds were framed by the Word of God. The Word, which is the seed, and the lion, and the lamb. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that's exactly who He is. The rock. And every time you see three and four go together in sequence, you're going to see it go together in season together all over the place, just like we're showing y'all today. Through the threes meaning direction to God and four meaning change to God. And the way you see that the most is the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, the, tr the Trinity, three names that make one body. <laughs> the devil tried to choke the word out of me, but he's not powerful enough because he who is greater is in me who, than he who is in the world. And that's exactly what that means. <laughs> that was funny though. Because the truth of the matter is, the way you see that the most is the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Those three, three names make one body, and they direct into your heart, and they change your life. Is that what you're seeing everywhere you see? Because the worlds were framed by the Word of God, but also in Genesis 1.26, you'll see it the most. And you're going to see that in Genesis 1.26 here, which is, bear witness to the Holy Spirit, guys. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. That's three names that make one body. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Or the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Or, or Justin Scooter Waddle. Or the head, the torso, and the legs. L-E-G-S. The threes and fours go together and season together. Well, you're also going to see that right here. Because you got, then God said, not Justin Waddle, God. Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Okay, then it talks about us. Let them, three and four, let them, changes to us, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle of all the earth, and over every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. You see how that works? It describes them as three. Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And it changes to us, and it gives us four options. Let them... Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle of the earth, and over every creepy thing that creeps on the earth. Three and four go together and season together. Because you got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Three names make one body. They direct into your heart and they change you. Okay? But you're also going to see that right over here in 1 John 5, 7. Bear witness to the Holy Spirit. Now you're growing with the Word of God, not just the waddle. Thank you for the Holy Spirit for flipping right to it, even though the wind's blowing. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word. You see how the Word is three, four? That's what you're going to see every single time you see anything. Three, fours. That's what that means. The Word and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. So 1 John 5, 7. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And that's exactly what you're seeing, the Trinity. And then 1 John 5, 8, And there are three that bear witness on the earth, the Spirit, which is Proverbs 3, 6, And all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. And John 16, 13, It lets you know that the Spirit of truth will guide you into all truth, that He, he will not speak of it His own authorities, but He will tell you things and things to come. Okay, so the Spirit of truth will guide you into all truth. And there are three that bear witness on earth. The Spirit, we're made of the water and the blood. Okay, guys, that's what we're made of the most. The water and the blood. So, and also the flesh. So that's three things. Three names that make one body. <laughs> he snuck that in on me, didn't he? Okay, and there are three that bear witness on the earth. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree as one. So three names that make one body. And these three agree as one because three means change. I mean... Three means direction to God and four means change. Sorry about the wing, guys. That's the Holy Spirit, if you will. But the truth of the matter is, that's what you're seeing. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, or the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. That's what you're seeing there. Three names that make one body. Okay, just like you got the head, H-E-A-D, head. You got your arms, A-R-M-S, and you got your legs, L-E-G-S. It's three names that make one body. <laughs> Ain't he powerful? Well, it all begins with the biblical numerology first, the biblical days of the voice of the Lord. Okay, so if you go to Hebrews 5, 8, uh -uh, Hebrews 5, 3. I'm sorry, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. Thank you for the obedience of the Holy Spirit inside of me and able to control this wind right now. Cease to exist, wind, and in the mighty name of Jesus. 
By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. So the worlds with the S, worlds, mine, yours, theirs, everybody's. The worlds. Arby's, Denny's, Captain D's, Walmart, it don't matter. The worlds were framed by the Word, 3, 4, of God, and that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. That's what you're seeing. You're about to see that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. You see? Because you got the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. You see how that works? Well, God calls number three direction. And you see that all over the biblical numerology by, by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now, the Holy Ghost is third in line because He is our direction. He is the Lord of righteousness. Okay? He, he's trying to direct you to G-O-D or I am, I-A-M. Okay? And they direct you to them by the author, the verse, and the chapter, by Old Testament, Poetry, New Testament. But the main one that directs you to God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay? That's what you're about to see all over the Bible. Because Abraham, he saw where to sacrifice Isaac on the third day. Or Moses, he was hit for three months. Or Jonathan shot three arrows for David's direction, you see. Or Mordecai and Esther fasted three days and three nights. Or Jonah, he got thrown over the boat, into the belly of the fish, and then to dry land. You see, he reached dry land in chapter 3. Okay, and he was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights, and it took him three days to go to Nineveh. That's an abundance of threes in his just one little testimony. Just like Jesus in the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, went through life, death, and resurrection, preached the gospel for three years, and got crucified at the age 33. So that's abundance of threes. God's clearly trying to point something out to us. That three means direction from God. Anytime you receive that number three in your life, like your head, your torso, but your legs is, is the third part of your body, L-E-G-S, and it directs you everywhere you go. God never changes. His word is everlasting, everlasting. It's undeniable. It's, it's an uncorruptible, imperishable crown that we race towards. Each and every day we put our feet towards that ground. And we look up to the sky and we raise our hand and we praise God for all of the problems and the trials and tribulations that we face. And did you know that if you continue to do that, that's 1 John 3, 3. And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. That's what you're going to see. You're going to see that Matthew 5, 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That's what you're going to see everywhere. You're not going to see numbers no more. You're going to see God's voice and what He calls it, because the Word will clearly teach you through Scripture. Now, four means change to God. Okay, we call it four, but He calls it change. Okay, and the way you see that through Scripture is God, G-O-D. Okay, He changed the man, and they wrote four Gospels about it. Okay, but Matthew, seven letters, but three out of the four Gospels is Mark, M-A-R-K, Luke, L-U-K-E, and John, J-O-H-N. Those are four letters apiece for three out of the four Gospels to show you threes and fours go together in season. You're going to see it more in the fours than you will the threes because of the simple fact you have to have three bad things to make you change, okay? Like 1 Corinthians, uh-uh, yeah, 1 Corinthians 13, 11, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I acted like a child, but when I became a man, M-E-N, on the, on the fourth option, when I became a man, I changed into a man on the fourth option. I put away childish things. So 1 Corinthians 13, 11, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I acted like a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things, and I changed to a man on the fourth option. That's what you're seeing, Okay. Okay, well, you also got Daniel's three friends got tempted three times in chapter 3, and that's they got to walk out of the fire with the fourth looking like the Son of God. Okay, that they changed. They didn't bow to bell, so they walked out of the fire together. And when, when, you, when you witness somebody else or when you witness yourself, the Word of God move in their life, it's going to change you as well. It's gonna, and that's what happened to King Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel chapter 4. You see, it changed him. He got the true powers of the Holy Spirit. Verses 2 and 3, it lets you know that, that, that he wanted to declare the signs and wonders. That's what we're doing here today. We're declaring the signs and wonders of God Almighty. The numerical pattern of the Bible is his voice to us. Okay, and not only did it change him to tr have the true powers of the Holy Spirit, but he didn't want to change his pride. And at the end of that chapter, he changes to a, to a beast-like creature. And he starts to eat grass like the, like the, like an oxen. And he has eagle's feathers and wings and claws like eagles. <laughs> and he changes and changes from a human being into an animal-like creature. So it doesn't matter if it's first four, chapter four, four words, four comma, comma, uh, four words in between comma, like Ezekiel, Ezekiel the priest, direction. Who is he? Comma, the son of Booza. You see, three and four go together. 
Who is he? Ezekiel the priest. Direction of who he is, comma, the son of Buzah. You see, three and four go together in season. It doesn't matter what the equation is. You see how that works? Right here. And you got Matthew chapter 13, starting at verses 4. <laughs> cool. And as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell, some fell on stony places where there did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they did not have no depths of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell of, uh, among the thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But the others fell upon good ground, G-O-O-D, in the fourth option, starting with verse 4. Okay, so the fours go with fours. But the others fell on good ground and yielded crops some hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. So threes and fours in the fourth option go together and season together. You see, because you got you got the you wouldn't throw your seed, which is the word of God, the word is the seed. You wouldn't put your seed amongst the wayside, the stony ground, or the thorns, three bad things, but you would put it amongst the good ground, G-O-O-D, and it shows you right here, right here, but others fell among the good ground, G-O-O-D, in the fourth option, and you yield a crop, some hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty, because the threes and fours go together and season together because of the word of God, because the worlds were framed by the word of God. All you're seeing is a different time error. Okay, that's just all you're seeing here. It, it, it happened in the biblical days just like it happened in these days. You're just seeing different people's lives. You see, that's all you're seeing. Like J-O-B, Job, right? His three men friends, M-E-N, and his wife, W-I-F-E. Okay, the three and four go together and season together with the three men and the one wife. Okay, three and four. But those four people try to change Job into a sinner. So four means change to God. Those fathers, the Son, the Holy Ghost is going to direct into your heart. It's going to change you. That's what they're seeing. See, Judas had to kiss Jesus to give us the Holy Spirit, three people, right? But when, when Judas kissed Jesus to give us the blood and the Spirit, it changed our life. Okay, they put Jesus on the crushed cross, which is one, two, and the Savior makes three people, three things to that, to that pattern. The cross, one, two, the Savior makes three, but you got four points to a cross. Threes and fours go together and season together. You see how that works? God never changes. God never changes. Hey, did you know in the month of January, J-A-N, it's got four months, <laughs> four weeks. <laughs> Don't you know it ain't me teaching you this biblical numerology of God's voice being true? You see, because in the Old Testament poetry, New Testament, right, it's made up of three things, three sections of the Bible. You got Old Testament, poetry, New Testament, right? What changes in between them? Four poetry books. Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the fours go with fours, the songs of Solomon. Okay, what about Lazarus? Was dead, D-E-A-D, -E dead for three days, right? And he was waiting for Mary, Martha, and Jesus was supposed to direct him back to being alive. And he changed back to being alive on the fourth day. The fourth person did. And you see how that works? The fours go with fours just like Jesus had a bunch of threes all in his pattern. Okay, well, what about this little pattern here? You got three choices to plug it into, three for direction. But four for change, because this plugs into the wall. You see how that works? See how the pattern works? See how God never changes? See how the worlds were framed by the Word of God? You see how it's a three-prong plug-in? Well, on this side, it changes to a two-sided prong. That's right, because three for direction, four for change. Y'all, please, please, I, I, I'm not the one that's delivering these messages to y'all. This is the true powers of the Holy Spirit. I ask and urge y'all to be the man with five talents to go out and get five more talents, or the man with two talents to go out and get two more talents. But don't be that man with one talent to hide his talent. Because God will give your talents to somebody else. Hebrews 13, 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What, what God did back then is safe to say he still does to this day. Through the rock, through the word, through the seed, the lion and the lamb and so many more like big lots explanation mark three for direction count the big picture first big lots boom and the explanation mark that's three for direction then you got three brrr, lots brrr, four <laughs> see how god never changes big lots huh dead in for sale god never changes his body, his mind, his soul, his spirit. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. 
the Messiah, the rock. He's everywhere. The worlds were framed with, by the word. And you saw in 1 John chapter 5, 7. Right here in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for getting us there, Holy Spirit. You see how we didn't use the strings? But He did. He got us there. So 1 John 5, 7. For there are three that bear witness in the heaven. The Father, the Word, 3, 4. And the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And you go to Hebrews 11, 3. Bear witness to the end now. We're almost done. <laughs> he got us there again. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word. The Word of God framed them. Fear God. See? Lord God. That's right. The Lord has made all for Himself. Yes, even the wicked for the day of doom. If He put this great depths into all this beautiful numerology and you can't go to a third world country for direction without some kind of biblical numerology some kind of numerical pattern like buying food or buying drinks or registers or, or bus tickets bus fares taxis it don't matter God says that count your blessings and strength comes in numbers and power comes in numbers and it's all about God's timing that's what God tells us to watch out for to look out for it's all about His beautiful, beautiful numerical pattern in the Bible because that's how the worlds were framed by the Word. Y'all, please jump on board. Please subscribe at the bottom. Please like and share. Please comment. Please let me know what you need to know. We'll take you to the Word of God and ask Him to reveal it to us. Uh, the worlds were framed by the... Three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. It goes in numerical sequence together. It don't matter what pattern it is. One, two, three, four. Threes and fours go together in season. Y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you.